Hi Pisces, welcome to your August mid-month love reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel, and thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your experience today. For your first crowner, you have chemistry. And it's clarified by the magician. And the five of cups. So I think here, Pisces, there has been a situation where there has been a loss of maybe some feelings, um, a loss of emotion, a loss of, even of a relationship for some of you. And you're looking back on this connection and you're realizing the chemistry that you have with this person. Some of you are communicating or you have feelings for as many as three people. And for some of you, it's just one. It's interesting because I do think that there are there is a group of you who has three definite connections here, but there's one of them that you prioritize over the other two. And maybe this one has been the one that has been lost. It's the one that you maybe recently walked away from or you've just lost it due to something here. And you're still giving to these other two people. Some of you have people here that you're, you know, you have external people who you are still giving to, giving your time, affection, energy, money even, to, but you're not satisfied because you don't have the same connection as you did with this person. I feel like this person was really getting to know you on a deeper level because you do have getting to know each other as the heart of your reading, which is actually very interesting because uh, I want to say like three, three signs had this same exact crowner in the heart of their reading like three or four. So it's, it's a pretty common theme that I've been seeing um, amongst the signs is getting to know your partner on a deeper level, getting to know yourself on a deeper level, Pisces. I feel like if you are in a relationship with someone, some of you might have two relationships with two different people. That's what I'm seeing. Some of you could be connecting with a Libra, some of you could be connecting with a Taurus. But I do pick up that some of you definitely have multiple people here, multiple people here that you're getting to know, uh, but you're coming off quite guarded, right? It's that air of secrecy that the Piscean loves to keep, that realm of mystery, right? Some of you guys are really keeping this air of mystery about you, not showing off the true colors, right? Not showing off the true colorful Pisces, because you guys are very colorful people. I love Pisceans. I've never, I don't think I've ever met a Piscean that I didn't like. You guys are really great. Some of the funniest fucking people I've ever met. But see how this man here is wearing black as well. I feel like you're keeping yourself closed off. You're not really expressing this colorful uh, rainbow fish, right, that you, that you are. And it is because there has been a betrayal of some sort. Maybe you opened up and exposed yourself to someone and they have hurt you, they have betrayed you, right? So now you've retracted, right? You've come back into this energy of being guarded. It's interesting because some of you are trying to attract a reconciliation here. Some of you are trying to manifest a reconciliation with someone, but you have to put an end to these two connections here. Some, some of you are definitely dealing with three people and, and you've let one of these people go. So you have two people here. But what's happening is um, these, these connections are keeping you in a low vibration because they're not satisfying you. They're not satisfying you. So some of you guys want a reconciliation, but you're maintaining these connections with these people. And it's keeping you in this frequency that's not aligned with the frequency of reconciliation. I hope this is making sense. So some of you are just dwelling. You're just looking on the past. How do I bring this back? How do I bring the chemistry back? Some of you guys are, are wondering how, and it's because you have a blockage, Pisces. You're blocked. Some of you are energetically blocked from a reconciliation because you're refusing to put an end to a situation where you may be giving to two people. Does that make sense? I 
hope this is making sense. But there is a very strong potential for you and somebody to have a very strong relationship here. You could be dealing with a Libra. Like I said, I pick up Libra, Taurus, Virgo. You could also be dealing with another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I also pick up um, Aquarius, Pisces. Aquarius, Pisces. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I did already say Libra, though. But you could be dealing with somebody who has Aquarius and Pisces placements. I don't know. Maybe that came out of my mouth for a reason. But, but yes, I do see that some of you are... You could be rejecting this person. This person might be trying to have a reconciliation. This particular past person. But you are like, hell no. I'm done. Some of you guys are done. You know, you're... you're like, um, like Flanders says, diddly done, right? You're diddly done with this person. So you're just kind of blocking them off. You're like, I got two other options I'm worried about right now. But for others of you, you are looking back on this past connection and you're wondering, how can I bring this back? How can I bring this relationship back? Cut out the external people. If you really want this person, then you're only going to be about the one, right? Look at the number at the top. If you want just this person, you gotta really just be about them. You know what I mean? But yeah, some of you guys are just entertaining yourselves in the meantime. I, I see a lot of entertainment energy. Some of you guys are going out to parties. Yeah, with the Three of Cups. Going out to celebrations, parties, going out to bars, whatever. And you're very, you're, you give off this energy, Pisces. Like I said, you guys are very colorful. You have this very colorful energy to you. Um, you, you attract a lot of attention. You attract a lot of attention to yourself. Yeah, I keep getting that energy of two people. You're, you're focusing very heavy on two people. Some of you are trying to maintain a balance here of some sort, is what I'm seeing. If some of you are dealing with a Virgo, you could be uh, feeling very rejected by this Virgo. Also Sagittarian energy, I did pick up wands. So some of you could be dealing with a Sag. Some of you also need to have patience as well as what I'm seeing. Um, if you are looking for a new relationship, if you are searching for something new, some of you are going out, trying to spark chemistry with certain people at parties, at the club, right? Um, and, and you keep coming up short. Some of you keep coming up short. You, you come home empty-handed. You know, you're, you're not getting exactly what it is that you want. You're like, I want to meet this kind of person at the bar, and I'm going to manifest it for myself because I'm a Pisces, and I'm one of the most spiritually aligned uh, signs of the Zodiac, right? So I'm very spiritually connected to Source. I am the High Priestess, right? I'm she who knows, he who knows. And I can manifest anything I want for myself, right? But then you go to the club, you go to a party, you don't end up meeting anybody, and you come home and you're like, fuck, what is it, universe? What is it? What is it that's keeping me from moving forward? It's because you're blocked. You have a blockage. And it's keeping you from, from moving forward. Some of you need to be patient as well. Some of you lack patience. You want to rush into something else here. Um, and, and that's... That's only gonna... It's gonna wreak more havoc. It's gonna wreak more havoc in your, in your life. What, I think some of you might have a blocked heart chakra, so you might be feeling lonely, especially with this Five of Cups here. Sense of loneliness, right? Some of you need to take time for yourself, because you're going out and giving too much of your energy to other people. Some of you need to heal this blocked heart chakra. If you're feeling lonely, feeling like you're too giving of your time, that's the sign. that's a sign of a blocked heart chakra, as well as What's another sign? Being too caring or too not caring. Giving too much or too little of yourself. 
being guarded, that's a big sign right there. I feel like a lot of you guys are focusing on the past. If you're not focusing on a past person in particular, you're focusing on an event, a situation that's happened in the past that you can't seem to get over. You're holding on to it. And you have, you have things that the universe is planning for you, Pisces. Things that you do not see yet. You're all about the moon, the unknown, right? That's one of your cards is the moon. So you, my friend, have things here that are waiting to be presented to you. Some of you might meet someone at work, is what I'm sensing. Some of you might meet someone at work here. If you're a single Pisces and you're waiting for a reconciliation and it's just not fucking happening, it's because there's something here that's unknown, guys. Look at this. The two cups that are standing behind him. Some of you might meet someone at work. And it's interesting because right when you meet someone at work, all of a sudden that's when someone wants to come back around. Because it's probably a test. Yeah, I, I really do feel like some of you might find your a stable, committed connection, a relationship in the workplace. I do, I feel that very, very strong. Might be with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, some of you guys are carrying some heavy burdens from the past, but you, Pisces, only you, you are the one that has the power to put this shit down. You don't have to hold on to this anymore. What has happened has happened. Whatever this person did, whatever you've done, it's happened, right? You can't do anything about it because the past doesn't exist anymore. Lay it down. Lay it down. You know what I mean? Because all it's doing is blocking you, Pisces. It's all it's doing is blocking you. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. What was I telling you guys? Patience. Patience. Just enjoy the moment. Enjoy this period. Embrace this period of loneliness, Pisces. Because there's going to be times when you're eventually in a connection. You're in a relationship. And you're like, damn. I kind of miss being single. kind of miss being alone. You know what I mean? So understand that things will come in their time. They will. Oh, I see what it is here. Some, somebody ran off to a third party. Somebody ran off to a third party. If you were in a relationship with someone, someone ran off to a third party. This is what the burden is for some of you. Maybe you were the one that did this. I don't know. It could go both ways. But understand, like I said, if something's not happening, it's for a higher purpose. But that is what I see here, Pisces. If you'd like to book a personal reading, please DM me or email me. All of my information will be in the box below, and I will see you later. Take care, Pisces, and have a wonderful rest of your month. Bye-bye.